right, there is a reason we're showing you that. Kim Kardashian nailed the theme of this year's Met Gala, which was In America, an anthology of fashion. Meeting the dress code of gilded glamour, she joined there by her beau, Pete Davidson, walked the red carpet, wearing the iconic Marilyn Monroe gown from when Marilyn Monroe performed Happy Birthday, Mr. President. The, pre <laughs> the dress is one of the most recognizable outfits from American history, designed by Jean-Louis. The gown features 2,500 hand-stitched crystals. The dress is owned by Ripley's Believe It or Not, and Kardashian only wore the dress for a matter of minutes while on the carpet. Now, the gown is now valued at over $10 million. Dollars. I like how she told Pete, all right, take a hike now. Th these are my solo shots. Well, that, you know, that's yeah. just expected. That's what happens. All right, so for the 10th, Paul's like, I'm not reading these. <laughs> for her 10th appearance at the Met Gala, Blake Lively did not disappoint. Lively, who was a co-chair of this year's gala, ascended the steps of the Metropolitan Museum of Art in a show-stopping Versace gown that featured a reversible train. Halfway up the steps, Lively stopped and flipped her train, revealing an aqua side that flowed behind her. Her outfit also featured a variety of accessories, including matching gloves, statement earrings, and even a tiara. In an interview, Lively said her gown is a nod to the Statue of Liberty, with the draping design and colors represented the aging copper that goes through over time. So do I understand it? You just wear it for the red carpet, then you take it off and put something more functional on? Is that how it works? I think you can do that. I mean, or, you have to, some of those gowns, there's no way you could sit in. Yeah, like you, you, the I waiters mean, you, would be tripping. Yeah, you could fit a whole army under the skirts of some <laughs> of them. Jeez, or four little helpers. Hey, also in attendance was Elon Musk. A reporter spoke to him about how some critics are wondering why he did not use the money he bought Twitter with to do other things with, uh, like do some good. Here's what his response was. Well, I do do a lot of things uh, philanthropically. Yes. Um, and um, really, uh, that, you know, my, that my companies are intended to uh, do good for the future of humanity with the Tesla trying to accelerate uh, the advent of sustainable transport and, and energy. Uh, and SpaceX is um, providing internet to the least served people around the world. The best space um, company in the world. I know. <laughs> in the world. And also what you've done for what Ukraine as well during this time. Yeah, absolutely. So we're able to help Ukraine with the Starlink terminals um, and uh, give them uh, connectivity in, in uh, particularly some of the hardest hit areas. So, you know, I, I, aspirationally, I am trying to do good for uh, humanity and, and the future of civilization. Where did you get this mentality? You know, he could have also made the argument that he's trying to do good by promoting pre free speech. That and, and providing jobs. I, I think it takes a certain didn't... amount of chutzpah to ask that question, frankly, because I would turn over, what have you how done, much young of, lady? How much of her money has <laughs> yeah, she given away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he went on to say that his goal is to make Twitter as inclusive as possible. Also, when asked about why it was important for him to attend the Met Gala, he said, because my mom, who looks strikingly like Glenn Close, at first I thought it was Glenn Close, but, but that was his mom, so Very, cool. very cool mom. And did you see how she came to the defense of yeah. her son? That was very sweet. I mean, hey, sweetheart. She must be. Hey, I, now you don't got to call her a sweetheart. Well, I know, but geez, that, that takes some gumption to ask. I mean, I mean, he's done more he, before he 9 o'clock than she'll do he, in the rest of her he life. He gives away quite a bit yeah. of, I mean, before you... <laughs> I, I was just surprised that he didn't... Uh, I mean, he seemed strong in his convictions of, I, I want this to be a platform to, you know, get us back to free speech. I don't, And he's been, you know, as far as the whole political argument, he's been very clear. Look, I'm not a fan of either far left or far right. I, I just... Think we need uh, I to don't be think he's and have even, civil discourse. Uh, for most of my time, I always thought he was left to center, and I think he even <laughs> says he's left to center. It's just, uh, but he left has become so far left that he's trying to. I think get he really it back felt that there needed to be a, a platform yeah. of free speech, and he said he wanted it to be inclusive. I was surprised he didn't go there, but he was probably so taken aback. Like, do you know how much money I give away every year <laughs> for? philanthropic causes. I'm with you on that. I don't know. That was surprising, but there you go.